Hello and welcome to another busy day in the life of Pookie. Today I am at the University of East Anglia speaking at an event for Norwich Mental Health Champions. Currently trying to find out where on earth I'm meant to be. You don't need to understand the brain really to be able to use those tools. You just need to prepare and realise that actually everyone can do something about mental health. <laughs> Chantelle used to be part of the NSFT Youth Council but she's too old now so she's retired. But she is still <laughs> an amazing speaker and spoken word artist and I've seen her perform several times and she blows my mind every time so please welcome to the stage Chantal Key. They say communication is instant but every time I go to say something I rethink what if they're judging me with their pens and paper what if they can see I'm useless just full of anger. Thank you for having me it's great to be here and um, not so much thanks to organisers for putting me after Chantel that's me. <laughs> The idea that we need to go out and make change happen can feel perhaps unachievable. Um, and any time when that feels too big, too scary, too difficult, we need to remember that actually you don't have to change the whole world. You can be that person who makes the world change for one person. I'm fascinated by the micro-interactions that take place in schools. What's a health-promoting assembly like? A hymn, a prayer and a bulletin? No, it shouldn't be. What's a health-promoting playground like? Is it one where the boys dominate with a football and the girls get pushed to the side? What's the health promoting first three minutes of a school day feel like? Is it one where you want to stay or do you want to go home? We think you're schizophrenic, but you do really well, so you can't really be schizophrenic. Um, and then it was autism, and then it wasn't. And it was all a very confusing time because I had no idea what was going on with me. And all of the while, I had so many people telling me they had no idea what was going on with me. But I remember the first time I met my mental health nurse and that was when things finally started making sense because she said to me, it's not about what people think you are, it's about how you become the most effective version of yourself that you can be. And that statement, that changed my life forever. stood out for me, made my hair, hair go on end really, and made me think about some children and young people that I'm working with that, you know, they have got talents in other areas and maybe promote those more and encourage other people to help them promote more. Gates come down and these thoughts they flood in, I'm tearing at the seams and I'm this puppet with broken strings, it's her job to rid me of these things, but I'm scared I'll lose some of me. I'm scared of self-discovery. This guilt I don't want to feel, am I ready? Am I ready for this kind of therapy? She can sense my anxiety, and anxiety, it holds on tight to me. One of the young carers last night said, we don't want to burden anyone. We feel that people helping us can sometimes be putting them out of their way when they could be helping someone much worse. As young carers, we won't deal with things in the moment. We will take things and bottle it up for as long as we need to. It won't be until we find a space that we can be ourselves and we can have time to just sit and deal with ourselves. I don't want to question my bruises or the lack of care or love at home. Instead, I was just classed as weird, which is true. I am weird, but weird is fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking that out there. It's beautiful and it should be celebrated because no child should be silenced because they don't fit in an unrealistic box that's put onto them by society. Same as no human. No, no one should. You know, we don't fit in boxes. We're not supposed to fit in boxes. It's just unfathomable all the different ways that you can live your life and that people have to live their lives and do live their lives. You have to act as if it were possible to radically transform the world and you have to do it all the time. It's been a really brilliant day for them. I thought that was a phenomenal day. Absolutely. <laughs> How did you find today? Oh, absolutely fantastic. Is there anything any differently as a result of today? I'm going to go home and really think about all of it. Because oh, sorry. I'm going to share it with my colleagues too. Oh, brilliant. Good luck. Thank you. Um, How did you find today? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, no, brilliant. You think it achieved what you wanted it to? I think so. I hope so. I think everyone certainly made were made to feel part of something yeah. important yeah. And, and special and I think that's what we wanted Empowered. everyone to feel to feel yeah. celebrated and empowered and, and part of a community that really cares and wants to make a difference and I think yeah. we all felt that. So I really, really, really hope that it sort of gave them that 
like we care about you and we celebrate you and we are so grateful for all the hard work that we know that you do <laughs> and just like that it was over and Pookie was left to try and find her car somewhere in the world's largest car park take care stay safe and join me on my next adventure bye